nine millimeter hard barrier penetration. And I've been wanting to do this for a really long time. And what I have today is four of very common law enforcement cartridges that are bonded in some way to defeat hard barriers. What we have is the HST 124 grain plus P by Federal. We have the nine millimeter plus P also 124 grain golden saber bonded 124 grain Winchester PDX1 Defender, that's about the same as the Ranger, and the 124 plus P Gold Dot. So they're all 124 grain plus P cartridges. And why I'm using 9mm versus something else is 9mm really is that perfect cartridge where it's not too powerful, but it's not too weak. So it can punch through a barrier pretty well, but not mushroom out to the point where it's not going to be much good for anything. Also, something that's lower power might have a hard time punching through a hard barrier. So what I have for a hard barrier here, what this is, is 16 gauge steel. This is the same uh, thickness of steel like in the interior of a car door. Very tough stuff. And what I have behind that steel is I have 9 16 inch, inches of fiber board. So instead of a, a quarter inch fiber board, which we are going to have that here anyway, because I'm going to do the standard ballistic test with these. Um, this is a lot thicker. It's about two and a half times thicker than average. And then as always, we're going to have our four layers of denim followed by one and three quarter inch pack of bologna, followed by one quarter inch medium density fiber board in, into water jugs. And how this compares to ballistics shells out the back of jug one is nine inches back of jug two 12 back of jug three 15 inches and so forth so first of all what i want to do just as a safety sake is i want to fire a few rounds at this from 25 yards just to make sure we're not going to get any ricochets off this thing because this thing is just very very tough it's a little bit concerning how tough it is. It is a very tough piece of steel. It is a lot tougher than that 16 gauge, or that, excuse me, that 18 gauge steel that we used with the 357 Magnum test. This is 16 gauge, it's a lot tougher. So I'm gonna fire a few rounds from 25 yards, at least get one hit on that and see what it does. If it has an issue going through, I'm just gonna remove that fiber board and just use that piece of steel as the hard barrier. So let's get started with the test. All right, I got some golden saber bonded in here. This is the kind of intermediate load between the power levels. I am about 30 yards from that piece of steel. Let me see if I can make a hit on that. Let's see what it does. All right, it does look like I hit it a little bit on the corner. That's exactly where I kind of wanted to hit it. So I have the center for the ballistic shots. So let's go up and take a look. And we went right through this fiber board. So I'm pretty safe to say that this is going to be safe. It's not going to ricochet at close range. This is very tough stuff. So I'm just surprised at how easily it went through that. So let's get started with the ballistic test now. All right, so our first round is going to be the gold dot. I'm really excited to see what this will do. I have it kind of marked out so I can see on that metal where to shoot and still hit this baloney pack. So let's see what we get with the gold dot. All right, see some water leaking, definitely. Here is the shot through our hard barrier pack. And the baloney was definitely hit here on the denim. There's a lot of that fiber board <laughs> on the front of that. And it pushed that fiber board barrier through the back of the meat. And what we have is larger than diameter hole through our fiber board. That typically does indicate expansion even in the baloney pack. So let's see what we got in water jugs. First jug has just a ton of debris in there. Not as much damage as what we normally see without that hard barrier. Jug two, we have an impact. It's like we have a pass through two, impact on three. I don't see any marks off the back of three. The bullet is in three. So this is going to indicate, you know, anywhere between like 13 to 14 inches of ballistics gel penetration. This is hard to believe, but we got really good expansion. I was not expecting to see anything close to that. That is excellent. That's the gold dot there. Right, let's move on to another round and see how they compare. All right, next up is our Federal HST. Really excited to see how this does. So let's see what we get. All right, 
So our hole through the back, here's the front of the, the pack here. It's a smaller exit hole through that fiber board. The gold dot was just huge. This one's a little bit smaller. Now I did hit on the denim here on the Spoloni pack. And what I have is kind of an oblong looking hole, almost looks kind of like um, starting the keyhole a little bit. Similar look, similar looking damage to the baloney pack, but kind of a keyhole looking hole through the back of that fiber board. So let's see what we got in water jugs. First jug went right through it. It looks very similar to the gold dot for damage. Jug two, we're just going straight through. It's not drifting to the right or the left or anything like that. I see the bullet right now on the table here. We exited out back of jug three on the bottom here. I don't see any significant marks on the fourth water jug, so that's gonna indicate 15, maybe 16 inches of penetration. And what we have is actually pretty similar to the gold dot. Uh, maybe a little bit less diameter, but it almost looks more uniform and more solid. So I would say this did just as well as the gold dot. Now let's move on to something else. Next up is the Golden Saber Bonded. All right. All right, the Golden Saber Bonded, it actually has the same kind of size hole up here as what the Gold Dot did. So it has a larger hole than the HST did. We have a ton of fiberboard in this baloney pack. Hit the denim. And what we have through the fiberboard here is similar to the other two here. A lot of fiberboard in the in the baloney pack. Very similar, uniform, larger than diameter hole. Uh, so let's see what we got in water jugs. First jug, we went clean through it. Looks like it's drifting down just a little bit. Very large entrance hole on this first jug. Lots of fiberboard material in that first jug. Jug two. Went clean through, looks like it's drifting just a little bit to the right. Jug three, it's poking out the back of jug three. Jug four is actually damaged enough that it's leaking significantly. So this is gonna indicate more of 16 to 17 inches of penetration. So this one has the most penetration. And again, looks excellent. It looks like the other two. Looks kind of like in between the size of the gold dot and the HST. So really, really good there. Now we have one more to try. We'll see how that does. All right, last up we have the PDX-1, also known as the Winchester Ranger. We'll see how this does. Wow, got a lot of splashback on that one. Impact shot right here. Exit hole. Uh, it's kind of in between the size of the HST and the gold dot and the golden saber bonded. So medium sized exit hole here. Let's see what we got. Shot through the denim. Sort of an oblong hole like the HST had. Decent damage though. Looks as good or better than the other three rounds. So let's see what we got in water jugs. All right, first shot. Very large entrance hole. A ton of fiber board in there. Jug two, right through, as to be expected. Impact on three. I can see the bullet in the box. We cracked out the back of jug three, so this is gonna be about 15 to 16 inches in comparison to the ballistics gel. And very similar to the others. I can see why it's kind of oblong hole. It looks like the, uh, the mushrooming of that round kind of shifted a little bit to one side or the other, but overall really good. So I was surprised to see all these rounds perform quite well. I would say each one of these would do a very good job through hard barrier penetration. Excellent. I, it's kind of hard to pick a winner. I would say the one that surprised me the most is gonna be that Golden Saber Bond. It had a really good mushrooming expansion, if you will and did a little bit better than what I thought it would have done. The Gold Dot had the largest expansion from what I can tell. The HST is probably the most uniform. So overall, you really can't pick a winner here, but what we're confirming here is that all of them did excellent. 
So that's what you get today with nine millimeter with some common law enforcement rounds and 124 grain plus P through hard barriers. So as always, comment, share, and like, and thanks for watching.